crazy on tweets. They don't want it because I come to defeat. What is up, my flawlessly kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title, you already know we got Angel Reese back in the click today, you guys. And it looks like a lot of people is hating, okay? And I don't like the hate that my girl Angel Reese has been receiving. Call your mama, period. Got me over here tight. Excuse me, what? Okay, coming from a 6'2 girly girl, okay? Let's not play my tall girlies. Now, if you guys do not know who she is, she has major brand deals on top of being a WNBA rookie star. Yeah, so y'all put some f***ing respect on my girl Angel Reese name, okay? Now, she is most definitely receiving a lot of backlash um, because of her comments that she made on the WNBA. Now, before we play the clip, in my opinion, I felt like what she was saying was basically letting it be known that the WNBA do not cover her everyday essentials, everyday living, because that's not even how much, she doesn't make enough even to pay her rent. She also mentioned that her rent was $8,000. And a lot of people felt like, listen, that is probably Probably why you know you're living above your means she even made a comment on that live saying she living above her means but this girl definitely got money in the bank okay she's definitely hit well over a million dollars however she's just basically speaking out about the fact that WNBA players don't really get paid that much she also said seventy four thousand dollars is her salary so y'all do the math okay now click one thing about me and math me and math be tussling okay that wasn't my strong suit so ai got us covered okay it says a salary of seventy four thousand per year is equivalent to six thousand one hundred and sixty seven per month so that doesn't even cover her rent and she basically was just keeping it real now click y'all already know i make my reservations and y'all know we're gonna always most definitely talk about it take a look and keep hating i love when y'all do that what do you say hate and paste the bills hate and paste them bills baby I just hope y'all know the WNBA don't pay my bills at all. I don't even think that pays one of my bills. <laughs> Literally. I'm trying to think of like my rent for where I stay at. Let me do the math real quick. They might cover that. Yeah, it covers that. It definitely covers that. What is my, I don't even know my salary. 74? Okay. Times. Here, I'll do it. Yeah. I don't even know what to sell it. Does it? Let me see. You don't even. <laughs> Yo! I'm living beyond my means. <laughs> it's like. Um. No, my rent is more than that. It's 8000 <laughs> I'm living beyond my means. Like y'all think. Babe, if y'all thought. Mm -mm. It's like. Let me stop. I don't, even, I don't even know my salary for WNBA. That WNBA check don't pay a thing. Do that even pay my car note? <laughs> yeah, I think it pays your car note. Yeah. I ain't doing a thing. Oh, when is that other hot tea coming out? That's sad because that really shows to be in a where good you have other I know. streams of income. But think about how many people don't and have to actually live off that. I know. That's really sad. I wouldn't even be able to get a sandwich if I wanted to. If yeah, I, no, you literally. I wouldn't be able to eat. I'll only be able to live. Yeah. Like, yeah. especially in a city like Chicago, yeah. New York, like, that's crazy. And and you make the same amount of money if you live in New York, California, which are the most expensive states. I know. Versus if you live in like, imagine Minnesota. Where, yeah. Like him and Ricky and them. Yeah. Live. Yeah. And their Damn. tax rate is so much higher. And I want to live somewhere safe, so. So crazy. Crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. We're going to make more money, though. We got big things coming. We got big. Now, click this person said people will clown WNBA salaries, then get mad at a player for figuring out how to get to other bags in the off season. Now, this person said, y'all, please don't read too much into this. She's a millionaire. Most of her money comes from sponsorships, endorsements, collaborations, ownership, etc. The check she gets from the WNBA is probably a small portion of the pot. Regardless, stop pocket watching. Laugh out loud. I don't even think her passion is basketball anymore. More. I feel like she just want to be famous at this point. Laugh out loud. But that's sad. The WNBA should be getting paid better. Trashing the company that gave you your start is crazy work. 74000 Nah, they tripping. Pay these women correct. Now, click. I don't know what people's problem is. I don't understand what is the issue.
issue between this female going to, you know, model and do other brand deals and having a podcast. What is so wrong with that? Like, she doesn't have to put herself and classify herself in a box because as she said, she is not even making a salary enough to pay for her living, her lifestyle, okay? She has a $8,000 penthouse. I don't even want to call it apartment, okay? Luxury penthouse condo, okay? So that is a lot of money a month, especially if you're not owning something and then she's only making a little over $6,000 a month if she is allegedly making 74K, okay? That could have been a guesstimate. That could have just been her giving an example. But I look at this as a positive thing. I look at this as her talking her crap. Like her podcast is called Unapologetically Angel. So the fact that she's speaking up about it, whether people may have took this wrong or feel like she's ungrateful because, you know, they chose her, you know, to play in the WNBA with the Chicago, you know, the Chicago team, you know, and people might feel like, you know, you're ungrateful, but she just keeping it real, you know, and that's the problem. A lot of time when you keep it real, you can end up, you know, messing up certain deals when you speak too much. When you speak the truth, things, bad things can happen, unfortunately. However, imagine how many doors she's about to open. Imagine how many conversations is about to be brought up front. Like right now, we talking about it on the Click News. Everybody is talking about this because this is real. Like it should not be, you know, any difference when you are a female basketball player and a male basketball player. Unfortunately, a lot of male basketball players do not need to have other endorsement deals to have something to live off. They automatically get millions at the at the table, you know, upon the, you know, signing the contract versus these women signing up for a salary, making a certain amount of money a month. And then on your off season, you're not really making nothing because at the end of the day, you're not playing any games. So any if you're not playing any games, no money is being made. And I think it's unfair that women gets paid less and you know the, in, the the industry okay and the entertainment business in a lot of in a lot of different areas so while people hating people need to be thanking her at the fact that she is speaking up on behalf of so many women who probably feel the same way but so afraid to really speak up about it you understand so hopefully she don't lose any brand you know because it's just her speaking her her truth and at the end of the day she is making money from other things she is a hard working person that's how we are as females nowadays we come in and we hitting y'all by storm okay so i am not mad that she is out here grinding for multiple bags because there's plenty of women who is her you know is her age around her age who is not doing as good as she is who is not you know having accomplished anything in life and whether she wants to spend eight to twenty thousand dollars a month on a rental that is her power you understand that's her money that's her life i'm pretty sure that she is going to set herself up lovely because she is putting her face out there People making comments about the whole famous and all these other things. She's just trying to be famous. Let's really talk about it. What is being famous? She didn't ask to be chosen. She didn't ask to have love for basketball and people, you know, wanting to draft her and, you know, people wanting to have her as the face of their brand. You know, God has blessed that. You know, who are we to judge what God chose to bless her with? Let's just, if anything, let's just encourage her because she's out here doing positive work. She's out here grinding and she's out here putting on for the tall, beautiful, girly girls. So y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that. I'd love to know your thoughts. I just thought I should make my reservations on that because I do not like to see that type of hate to a girl who is being nothing but positive, being nothing but real, being unapologetically her. Next in the click, we got Kamala Harris in the click today, you guys, for the first time. Now, I know I told you I'm not all about politics, and I do want to make a disclaimer that I am not voting at all. Okay, I have my reasons as to why I am not voting spiritually inclined with Jehovah. I do not believe in politics. However, we do live in a real world and y'all already know I'm going to make my reservations. Y'all know we gonna always most definitely talk about it. So I do want to let it be known that she has released an agenda five for black men. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you heard that right. An agenda five for black men. I said it. Now, number one says providing one million dollar loans that are fully forgivable to black entrepreneurs and others to start a business. Now, in my opinion, click, I think that's absolutely smart. I think that that would help a lot of, um, you know, African-American entrepreneurs. So I think number one definitely is very beneficial to the community because we need more black business owners. So y'all let me know. Are y'all feeling number one? Let me know what y'all feel in the comments below. But the number two says championing education, training and mentorship programs that help black men get good paying jobs and high demand and 
industries and lead their communities, including pathways to become teachers. Supporting a regulatory framework of cryptocurrency and other digital assets so black men who invest in and own these assets are protected. Launching a national health equity initiative focused on black men that addresses sickle cell disease, diabetes, mental health, prostate cancer, and other health challenges that disproportionately impact them. And last but not least, this is the number one thing that I wanted to talk about. That's why I just said, you know what, let me just read it all down the list because I wanted to make my reservation solely on number five, legalizing recreational marijuana and creating opportunities for black Americans to succeed in this new industry. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. Now, click. I don't think I need to know much about politics, okay? When it comes to this one not feeling right and sitting well on my mind. Because for one, why does marijuana and recreational marijuana have anything to do with you trying to help the black community to succeed? Legalizing it has absolutely nothing to do with the black community. All race smokes, okay? There is somebody from each race out here to smoke. What irritates me, and this is one of the reasons why I'm I'm not voting, because I just find this highly disturbing that you think by saying, oh, let's legalize recreational Creation marijuana for the black people. Oh, creating opportunities for black Americans to succeed in the so we're gonna succeed by smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all gotta really open your eyes i get a lot of you people are like oh kamala kamala oh trump 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 this is bigger than this if you think about it us as people we god did not put us here as to be oh you latina you black you chinese you orange you blue we all are one we all are people so why go so hard for one race you need the black vote right quote unquote allegedly so i just don't it, if I, I could go so deep into this but i feel like we living in our last days and i say this all the time because this is how i feel and it's gonna be god's government <laughs> and it's gonna be the world's government and now you know i feel like we living in hell already we just you know trying to show god that we can stay faithful while we down in his <laughs> down in hell and that's just my opinion i see life in a different type of way okay so but it is what it is agree to disagree i definitely did not think that bringing up marijuana was a good idea when it comes to trying to help the black community it was just very loud very wrong and just uncomfortable and that's just my opinion am i the only one am i but maybe i'm bugging maybe i'm being a little too sensitive i am a leo but y'all can let me know in the comments below if i'm wrong that's all i got for that we got scotty don't forget the body back in the click today you guys and it looked like some people think she is getting too comfortable and too cocky speaking out loud when she said don't forget the body now she posts these pictures today people in the comment section think that she was coming for janisha if you guys know who Janisha is, she is Lemuel alleged wife slash ex-girlfriend slash girlfriend we don't know at this point because you know people are saying that scotty is a mistress and you know they never coming out saying that her and lemmy is together but they've been caught plenty of times and we talked about it already in the click news call your mama period now click the reason why people feel like she was being shady is because she said this to janisha on the reunion when she said bringing out scotty and introducing scotty and scotty came out saying don't forget the body not too much on janisha though scotty said it was never shade to her i was just finishing my name respectfully stop the cap No more. How can you shade the main when you're the mistress? It's not even shade. She just finishing off her name. Y'all hate Scotty for nothing. Girl, I love you. And one of his many bodies. Let's not forget you had four seasons. Wrap it up, ma. The pics in the outfit didn't give enough to capture the caption. Do better bitterly or morally. I love Scotty. She used to be my favorite. But girl, you don't get no cool points for effing with somebody else's man. Next. Let me tell you something. You low down, dirty, stanky, crusty, low butt. Y'all make me sick. Y'all make me sick. Can't stand y'all. She comfortable now. OML girl. She making this her whole personality. Surely being the proud side chick or whatever it is, embarrassing. Now click one thing I could say for sure is that this girl is in no way, shape, or form upset or embarrassed at the fact that she is sleeping with a millionaire to stay relevant on a show. Literally for four whole seasons and counting. Now that is all I got for that. Y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that situation. Definitely let me know in the comments. Do y'all feel like Scotty was wrong for correcting Janine? 
Tanisha. Or do y'all think that she has every right to do that and stand on business? Either way, it's her kitty cat and she can do whatever she chooses and whatever she pleases, okay? And last time I checked, I noticed that these two, Janisha and Lemmy were no longer following each other and they did make an announcement allegedly that they were single so we don't really know but to each his own next in the click we got Safari and Erica Mena back in the click today you guys now Safari really got the nerve y'all now y'all already know i make my reservations and y'all know we gonna always most definitely talk about it to me i just think he's a whole clown and there's some alleged news coming out that he is now petitioning erica mena to go back to court to literally plead with the judge to lower his child support payments to his ex-wife I mean, not only that, $4,305 per month, he wants that reduced, okay? Now, you're a celebrity child, two children, 4305 I mean, I guess that Gag City, um, you know, stunt that he tried to do up in, uh, you know, just to get clout off of Nicki Minaj, that must have not made him a lot of money. He is not being talked about. He's no longer on Love & Hip Hop. He just not making no money. Allegedly. Now, let's get straight to the point at the fact that this is absolutely wrong. Like, I mean, we don't know about his... His finances we don't know but if you could spend money to go to a gag city concert you could have dished that money for them tickets out to your children rather than trying to reduce their child support and to be honest with you i really feel bad for erica minna because let's be real she is coming out with a show soon um a dating show on zeus so i feel like that's probably why he's attacking her and then the fact that you want her to pay your legal fees like bro you are some broke Ninja. I feel like Erica Mena should have just read the room. Like, I mean, he sued Nicki Minaj and did not care at all. Okay. So I feel like that's something that would have just turned me off from the jump. Because if he could do that to a woman that he was sleeping with, he was in a relationship with, imagine what he could do with you. And you married him and he chased her for all these years just to treat her like shit and throw her in the garbage just like he do to every other female he deal with allegedly however it's just a sad situation because these are your children why would you want to take away from your children especially the fact that she showed this calendar and allegedly and the caption she said mom is yellow dad is orange imagine trying to detect definitely had to mean imagine trying to take child support from your baby mother as y'all can see he only seen them eight times so that means all the yellow their majority of the time they're with her and he only see them a couple times a year and you got the nerve to try to take child support from this girl literally the audacity of this dude and then she said he skips out on birthdays and christmas by choice and you only seen your kids 16 times this whole year so far shaking my head but you act like you this big money man for the gram and all you have to do is pick up your kids at school you don't ever have to make contact with me shaking my head i swear when i say these are my kids i say it with my chest for a million reasons now of course i'm hoping that safari definitely changes mind and really just stop playing and step up as a father you know if you're allegedly not being there and you're not as present don't try to take no money from these kids because at the end of the day it's not just about the money it's about the time and if you can't give 100 percent your time at least you could give 100 percent your damn money to your own offspring and what i'm about to say is a hundred percent how i truly feel and i'm definitely living proof and i'm living in it okay be careful who you have children with all right it is really important if you could wait if you could really take time to get to know that person please do because this is what you got to deal with in the long run when you have children by somebody that you thought was genuine you thought really cared about you i mean literally you have got to be some type of selfish to take money away from children that you only see at least eight times a year this is crazy anyways click y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments below do y'all think he is definitely wrong as f to be trying to take money from this girl rather than being present at least like i always say if you're not going to be present just give that child the money take care of that child that's your responsibility that's your offspring don't play nobody like that i don't care how mad you get i don't care what you're going through how much you feel about the other person it's not about you it's about the children and i think it's absolutely selfish taking away from your children after you were handed millions of dollars and you misused that money now you want to take away from your children just so you can have a financial gain in your pocket oh child these men out here is a new level of trifling that is all i got for that if you guys are new, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and don't forget to turn that post notification bell on so you can be notified when I drop the click news. As I always tell y'all, if nobody told you that they love you today, just know that I love you. I'll see you guys in the next click news. Hey,